Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different and it's kind of something that I told myself I wouldn't do. Um, but I think I'm going to just on the preface that I have a lot of people here who, um, you know, they don't know anything about cloth diapering. So I feel like this is kind of a good like educational start and probably the most hard to answer question ever and that is how to wash cloth diapers. Um, because cloth diaper wash routines, they are tricky. Um, and that sounds so weird because it's like it's laundry, but it is, it's tricky. So um, story time, when I first started cloth diapering with my oldest, um, we actually used Tide laundry soap and I had my wash routine down pat. I mean, it was awesome. I never had an issue with it the entire time. And then um, years later, I ended up having a child that was laundry detergent sensitive so we had to cut the tide and I had to start all over again um, so then I ended up switching to um, a more what was it it was like one of the like the free and clear or like some kind of um, like non-sensitive detergent and I ended up I just it wasn't working it was not as strong and it just wasn't getting stuff clean. It wasn't doing what I needed to do. I would end up having to literally do my wash routine two times in a row. And it took forever. And I couldn't do that every time that I would, you know, do laundry. Um, I couldn't throw them all in and then do it all over again, you know? So, um, super unproductive. So, I ended up um, doing more and more research and I finally, I've tested some different laundry detergents and I finally found one that worked, thank goodness, um, for you know all the kids and all the family members that um, nobody was sensitive to it. So it um, works great. And so I had to kind of like, it just kind of shows you how you might have to adjust over the years or if something's not working, just start over. Um, that's kind of my main thing is you can always start over. Um, you can always strip if you need to strip. I don't like doing it, but you can. Um, I'm not going into that today, but just know that you can start over. So, um, another thing that, so pretty much the first thing that I would start off to tell you is you have to do your research. You have got to do your research because if not, your wash machine's not going to work out. You need to research your own water, um, because my water is not going to be the same as your water. Chances are. Um, so, you know, what I would recommend is getting a test kit off of Amazon, testing your water hardness, um, and that will kind of tell you exactly where your wash routine is going to be headed. Um, that they have them, the kits, like I said, they have them on, um, I know they have them on Amazon. I know you can get them off of their websites. I'll link one below if I can find it, which I'm pretty sure, confident that I'll be able to. Um, so the first thing you want to do is test your water. Uh, the second thing you want to do is look at what laundry detergent you already have. It might work. Uh, and what I would recommend, Fluff Love University, awesome resource, awesome, awesome. They are the most probably detailed um, research page that I've found for wash routines and troubleshooting and things like that. Um, so, but anyways, they have a like gigantic laundry detergent index and it will show you... Um, kind of the strength scale, it shows you how much they cost, you know, comparison wise, it shows you if they're plant based or enzyme or, you know, just all the things. And then it will actually give you basically detailed instructions on how to use that specific laundry detergent because they're all going to be different because they're different strengths. Um, and then it also has a wash routine. Um, there's a page on there where you can actually look up your specific washing uh, machine and it will give you an example of like what a cloth diaper wash routine would be for that specific machine with its dials because everybody's dials are going to be different. Um, so what I'm going to show you is a very like general basis just to give you an idea. This is for, you know, this video is kind of for people who are just starting out and you just want to see like what you would do. So it's not, you know, your wash routine is probably not going to be the same as my wash routine, but it, this is just to give you an idea. So I'm not saying that you do exactly what I do. I'm not saying you have to. And I'm not saying that this is the way that other people are going to do it. Like I said, everybody's is going to be different. Everybody's water is different. Detergents are different. Skin is different. Is what it is. But this is what works for me. We've been doing this specific cloth diaper routine for years um, as far as this wash routine. So, I mean, it's 
it's been working for me. <laughs> so um, I just kind of want to preface that and I am so nervous to even put this video up because <laughs> I just don't, um, there is just so much heat around cloth diaper wash routine. So if you do not agree with this wash routine, that's fine. Just, you can leave me a comment and tell me, I don't care. Um, like I said, I've been doing this for years and it has worked. My stuff comes out super clean, it smells good, and that's really all that I care about. So, um, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is go grab our diapers. Um, we store ours in the back bathroom. I actually have two wet bags up just because I ran out of space, but this is the normal one that I use. Um, he just kind of happened to go through a lot this week, and I think I went an extra day without washing. So I'm going to grab both of these, and then we will head to the washing machine. Okay, so obviously we're at the washer and we need to put our diapers in. So I'm gonna start taking the bags and emptying them out. And then we also actually turn the bag inside out and put those in as well. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and empty the second one. This one's hard to do one-handed. The pocket opening is a little small. Um, I actually have this bag um, reviewed, so I can link that below for you as well. So we'll put all this in. And... Okay, so everything's in there. Um, I use the Gain Original scent, and like I said, I've been using this for a couple years, and it works great. Um, never use anything else like the Fabric Softener or anything like that. Those are a gigantic no-no. Um, and sometimes I will use these Grovia Mighty Bubbles. I have a review for these as well I can link below. Um, I like them. I just don't need them today, so I'm not going to use those today, but they're just a little tab. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my laundry detergent opened up here, which I am struggling with one-handed. It's amazing how I cannot function one-handed at all. So um, for this, I just fill it to the first line because we're going to do our pre-wash cycle first. So fill it up to line number one, which you really can't see that. And I just do the settings for just a regular wash on cold and then just however many, you know, however big your diaper load is there. And I don't do an extra rinse for my pre-wash. So I'm going to go ahead and start that up and then I will put in my detergent. I know everybody says to put your detergent in first and let the water mix with it and whatnot, but then I don't know how big the load is. <laughs> You know, I can't, I just can't guesstimate unless it's in the washer, if that makes sense. I don't know. Does anybody else, anybody else do that? Anybody with me? You're just a rebel and put your laundry in first. I feel like nobody, nobody does it the right way. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're all just normal. Okay, now that that wash cycle is done for the main wash, um, I always bulk, bulk up my loads with extra laundry, whether it's baby clothes or um, just, you know, kind of little items I have laying around the house. Nothing bigger than a receiving blanket is the general rule. And for these settings, I will do a super wash with an extra rinse on hot cycle. And then, you know, obviously set your dial and then we are good to go. And I will do the detergent on um, line four. So a lot more detergent for the main wash. And then I went ahead and stuck them in the dryer without showing you guys. But here I have my little helper um, unloading the dryer with me. And you're not supposed to stick the covers or anything with like the PUL in the dryer um, I do it just wears it out faster so it's not like you know it will ruin them if you do that but um, you know it's a lot faster to dry and honestly I'm just too lazy to hang everything up I don't I don't have time for that <laughs> but they are all dry and that's the wash routine all right guys so I got my big load of clean laundry here and everything looks squeaky clean so I hope this video helps some of you guys, and um, I hope it just kind of gave you a general idea. You know, it's not anything hard. It's not anything that takes forever. It doesn't take a ton of effort. Um, I typically wash, I like to wash every other day. I think it just kind of, A, it keeps the loads kind of small. Um, this might be, this might be three days. But it keeps the loads small, and then I can hurry up, you know, while I'm watching TV before the end of the night, and go ahead and get them, you know, stuffed up and folded and put them away, and I know I'm good to go. Um, but I would go two to three days max because after that, you know, they're retaining moisture so they could mold, they're going to stink no matter if you rinse them out or not. I mean, that just, you know, it's wet material, you know, so I wouldn't recommend going any longer than three days. Um, that's just my personal preference. You, you know, 
you do what you want. Um, <laughs> but so um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you're here. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if this helped you. Um, let me know if you guys have any good like extra wash tips or extra things you guys do um, because I would love to hear those and I probably have some subscribers who would love to hear those. And um, yeah, I just want to hear from you guys here that you're hanging out. So um, if you're new here, please subscribe. We do um, just a lot of cloth diapering tips and day in life, some giveaways, um, all kinds of fun stuff. And I hope that you guys will uh, kind of keep hanging out with me here. So I'm going to go fold this and I'm going to hang out with my puppies. I don't know if you can see like the <laughs> top of Buster's nose here. Um, but I'm going to go fold this, hang out with them, and then this one's going to bed. This is my last cup of coffee for the day. And I use these um, child spoons because I feel like these are just like the perfect coffee mug spoons. Um, because they're not like the spoons we actually use because I feel like if we use them for coffee, we drink coffee like all day. <laughs> so we will end up running out of our spoons if we keep using them. So I like to use um, like baby spoons. I don't know why, but they are always, I always reach for the baby spoons. And nobody really uses them anymore. Um, Colt does like once in a while, but for the most part he likes like a real like big boy spoon. <laughs> so I, I love these. Like I've debated getting another pack for myself. <laughs> but alright guys, well I will see you next time. Bye!